All right, so just enough. How much is enough, they wondered. That seems like it's too tight, but I don't know. Well, let's test it out. I've never actually tried it. <laughs> this is insane. You can make them as small as you want if you do kindling this way. <laughs> That's fantastic. <laughs> It was midwinter, and we still hadn't had any serious snow. It was falling here and there, and the temps kept fluctuating. And overall, it was a sloppy mess. Just enough so you had to plow the driveway before it froze, but not enough to feel like real midwinter, where we could enjoy our favorite activities, the ones that made it worth living here and enduring a New England winter. But we were slowing down and doing a lot more reading, and we headed to town more often for dinners and movies, which was a nice change of pace. did get a few Wonderland dustings that kept us hopeful. Beautiful. <laughs> it's our first storm where snow really sticks to the trees, really wet snow. Probably got eh, about four inches, four and a half inches total. <sighs> now we have a perfect base. If, if this can just freeze and harden and then we get even another four, really six inches would be ideal. Then we'll be snowmobiling and skiing, but for now, at least we can skirt by. And I picked up my old trooper after some time in the shop and had some good drives around the back roads contemplating whether or not I was going to sell her in order to pay for other things in life. And Allie and I were heading to new grocery stores and putting an emphasis on buying quality food and keeping it in stock. And even though there wasn't quite enough snow to ride, I was cleaning out the new trails on our land 
and spending as much time outside in the snowy beauty as possible. And though we were expecting to cross-country ski all winter, it wasn't happening that way. And so we started going for walks again, which makes a huge difference, especially on days where we spend many hours working hard in front of the computer. daydreaming of how much time I was going to spend on the rivers this year and how I'd finally set up that fly tying kit that Allie bought me for my birthday a few years back. And one day, we received a report from my dad that the skiing was on, and so we went to the little red house one night to wax up. felt that beautiful burn from the first ski of the season, which I couldn't believe didn't happen until February. Well, it's still winter and we got a while to go, but it's hard not to think about spring. So I had to shave the winter beard. <laughs> I have had a beard for about six months now, but I did film most of this video before I shaved, just in case there's any confusion. Feels good though feels refreshing. Every year around this time, I mean, you have New Year where you tend to try and break old habits or try new things. And then 
for me, it really starts to happen in the spring. There's there's a renewal. There's new energy. There's a instinct to clean up and refresh and renew. So it feels good right now. I'm going on about six months now that I've been really focusing on getting good sleep. And I've been drinking Beam Dream Powder. And that's this video sponsor. I've told you about this stuff many times. I stand behind it. Dream is a luxurious drink blend filled with the highest quality sleep promoting ingredients. It's clinically shown to improve sleep. I've got the new brownie batter flavor right here. I'm excited to try. Every time I drink Dream, I wake up feeling more energized, more optimistic, less sore. I feel like I can take the day on. You cannot underestimate the power of good sleep. I tried all different kinds of sleep aid. The unique thing about Dream is it's not just one ingredient. It's a combination of multiple ingredients that all promote different stages of sleep. It really is delicious. It tastes just like hot chocolate. But you don't have to feel guilty. There's no sugar. There's only 14 calories. They've got tons of different flavors. Their website's really nice. They've got blends that have CBD. They have some without. I have to say, having Dream on hand has really changed things for me. My favorite part about Dream is that it has high quality sleep ingredients that leave me with zero grogginess the next day. In a clinical study, 93% of participants reported that Dream helped them get better sleep and wake up feeling more refreshed. So click the link below or scan the QR code and use code Trout and Coffee to get up to 35% off. So thank you to Beam for continuing to support this channel. And now back to the story. And so one day in February, my good friend John came over to help drag the rest of the ash logs off my land that the power company left behind. It was looking like we wouldn't have to tap into the crappy firewood that I bought last minute and instead could burn this ash for the rest of the season. John and I both loved this kind of work more than anything on earth, and we had a lot of good laughs while we harvested the logs together with the old machines. You do get a feeling of pride when you build a log pile like that from scratch.
You want to know what I love? What's that? Good hard work, man. <laughs> well, kind of. I was going to say, having a friend that you can depend on to do a good job that, like, cares about how things are. Yeah. Cares about the look mark. of stuff, like everything. I know what you're saying. It's just like not in the road, not pissing people off, not making a mess. We're just doing what we're doing and doing it like real men. Really it's the way we tried to grow or try to be when you were older. Well, that's the thing is like, yeah, I just think about, you know, splitting with my dad and all that. Heinous <laughs> beehives. <laughs> well, I should go home, eat some food. Hold on, don't leave just yet. Let's have another snack. I don't know. I'll be quite honest with you. My brain still functions. I'm a profitable, healthy, nice person. <laughs> I don't want to go from Germany to Deutschester again. You know what I'm saying? I don't have to. I've ridden that train, and I can tell you what you're going to see. It was a time of life that went by really quickly. I'm glad it did because if it lasted any longer, I probably wouldn't be here. I got a little more for you. Slowly, our wonderland dissipated. The temperatures rose, the snow thinned, the mud returned. For a true New England winter dwindled, and I worked hard and steady in the background and continued writing and studying the craft. showed off in other ways and we admired what they gave us this is really nice <laughs> it is i finally bought some painting supplies and it seemed like all my creative dreams were slowly happening in good time made it out to a nice little concert at the small town church one night.
but music falls yet incomplete, thus heard by willing ears. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> This is an older song. This is uh, this is called My Old Street. Now, if you've ever lived with someone or been married to someone and then it didn't work out and you don't live there anymore, that's kind of what this is about. I saw the blue light of your TV in the window I saw the starlight go on forever above your door and I wonder what you do now that I ain't there with you oh never mind Early February, 53 degrees. Grass, more you can see more grass than you can see snow. Feels like spring, feels like April. And it's a bummer because we never really had true good winter. I'm still craving that deep winter. I want to ride the snowmobiles to the cabin. I want to really ski and ride and all that, play in the snow. But having a day like this really makes you crave spring. And Jared and I kept chasing the power company and piling up the ash. I scooped six inches of mud earlier in the winter. And today, 57 degrees I saw at one point. Look at this. This is madness. I got to scoop this all out now. I can't wait to make this driveway nice. And of course, I go to start the tractor. I must have left my rear auxiliary lights on. Battery's completely dead. I'll tell you what, this is no joke. It's a lot to keep up with, but I love it. You gotta love it. It's not for everyone. Not easy getting to the battery when the loader's down. God almighty. What would that school be like if it covered an entire city? What would that school be like if it was an island? While I cleaned it up, I couldn't even imagine what this place would look like with a proper driveway.
right, so one thing that I'm looking to do this year is this whole stone wall. I want to clear everything from around that and really make it look nice because it's a beautiful old stone wall. I'm going to start doing that now that we have no snow. It's, it's February. Our snow is gone. So firing up the mini and uh, going to get to it. Well, got a nice little start. Cleaning this all up, smoothing it out, collecting all these dead stumps. Gonna make a nice big pile right there. Get all this dead stuff. Basically just show off the stone wall because it's so pretty and who knows how old it is. And I want it to be a centerpiece of our yard. So we're, gonna, we're getting there. Figure chip away a little bit at a time and Maybe by spring it'll be pretty good. Sunday morning, selling the Rover today. It's bittersweet, got a lot of memories in this thing. This is where I kind of became who I am. Drove across the country in this multiple times. Had so, so many adventures in this machine. Great stories that I will write about in books one day. <laughs> I can still come up. Winter wasn't over, but you could hear spring in the distance, and things were changing like they always do. Because change is the only constant, and that's what keeps life fresh and new. <laughs>